Hello everybody, uh, this is Sin City Preacher. Uh, you can just call me Brother Luke. I was telling my son a story about something that happened yesterday and he suggested that I retell this story for YouTube. So uh, here goes. Uh, as usual, uh, I was uh, preaching the gospel in front of the Bellagio Hotel yesterday with uh, Brother Frank. And uh, those of you who know me, you know that I sit in a wheelchair. I have a condition called spinal stenosis. It's just advanced arthritis, and I can't stand very long because my legs go numb. So uh, when I'm out there at the Bellagio, I preach in a wheelchair. And yesterday, some unusual things happened. <coughs> uh, a group of people, young people, uh, came up to me and they asked me if uh, they could pray for me. And that happens once in a while. People see me in the wheelchair and there are some Christians that, uh, you know, they want to see me healed and so they, they pray for me. And I'm always happy to receive everyone's prayers. So uh, I, before I uh, gave them the okay to pray for me, uh, I had to ask them a few questions to certify that they were Christians. So. Uh, then they prayed for me, and it was a beautiful prayer for my healing and blessings, and uh, I, I thanked them for that, and, and then we continued our preaching. Brother, Brother Frank and I were taking turns preaching. It only took about 15 more minutes, and another individual uh, approached me and started talking to me and asked me about why I was in a wheelchair, and he wanted to know if he could pray for me, and I said, well, this is interesting. Uh, there was a group of people a few minutes ago that were praying for me, and he, s he explained that there a, was a conference in Las Vegas uh, of Christians uh, meeting for the purpose of, uh, of prayer and healing. So um, that explained why uh, you know I, I had a couple of different people wanting to pray for me. So um, he and I had a nice conversation, and uh, he also wanted to pray for me. And he told me about some miraculous healings that he had actually uh, witnessed uh, through this uh, prayer group. Uh, that was very interesting. Though, uh, uh, And then uh, after he left, um, Brother Frank and I continued preaching. And probably half an hour later, another group of young people came up and they wanted to pray for me. And uh, I told them about the, the two previous uh, uh, members of that group that were praying for me. And, uh, but I didn't want to discourage them. And I, uh, that's their ministry. Uh, they're, they're prayer warriors. So I certainly didn't want to uh, diminish that. And uh, I, 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 of course, welcomed their prayers again. And as they prayed for me, they were praying not only for my physical healing, but uh, they understood that because I was doing street evangelism, they were also praying for my safety and protection. And uh, one of the individuals prayed that uh, God would put a hedge of protection around me and keep me safe. <clears throat> so that was a very interesting experience. And then when Brother Frank and I were finished with our preaching of Bellagio, uh, uh, I was driving uh, home from the Bellagio, and Brother Frank called me on my cell phone, and I'm talking to him as I'm driving. But then I pulled on the freeway, and... The freeway traffic was very heavy. Uh, it was moving along about 60 miles an hour, but uh, it was, uh, I knew right away that it was a dangerous situation. I, I told Brother Frank, I, I shouldn't be talking on the cell phone. I need to focus on my driving here. So we hung up, and he said, uh, he said okay, good, uh, uh, don't get killed. Okay, um, within, uh, right after I hung up talking to Brother Frank, I put both my hands on the wheel and I got as focused as possible because I saw the traffic was pretty intense. Well, it didn't take more than 30 or 60 seconds after uh, my conversation with Frank. Uh, the traffic ahead came to a sudden stop as it sometimes happens on a freeway. And because I was very alert, I was able to slow down quickly and not run into the cars ahead of me. Uh, but as, as I came to a stop, I looked in my rearview mirror and I, I, I noticed that the car behind me was not stopping. 
and I, I maneuvered and, and changed lanes to get out of the way. Uh, and all this happened in a split second to me, coming to a sudden stop, looking in the mirror, and then making a decision to change lanes. At the very instant I was able to change lanes, the car came and, instead of hitting me, hit the car ahead of me because I had pulled out of the way. And the car had to be going 60 miles an hour. It was a, it was a horrible collision. And if I had not have, uh, been alert and made that quick decision and, and pulled out of the way, uh, I would have either been killed or seriously injured. And certainly my car would have been totaled. So uh, uh, as soon as that happened, of course, and traffic was continued coming, I had to keep going with the traffic. And I don't really know what happened in the accident, but I, it, was a, it was a bad collision. So uh, I immediately was, was thanking the Lord for the protection, and uh, I thought about all the prayers that I got that day. And uh, I know that um, uh, if you're watching this video and you're in that prayer uh, group that was praying for me, and uh, I just want you to know about this because I really do believe that your prayers protected me that day. And uh, there was a reason that uh, I received so many prayers. And uh, uh, I thank... Uh, I thank the Lord for protecting me, and uh, I thank the Lord for uh, your ministry uh, as prayer warriors. You know, my ministry is evangelism, and I told them uh, that uh, the body of Christ has many members, and uh, we all have our part to play. So if you're a prayer warrior, uh, your ministry is very important, and uh, keep on praying. And uh, Thank you very much for watching this.